Hi friends, welcome back. Let's discuss the next very important STA interview question, which is how to fix the whole time violation or how whole time violations can be mitigated. So friends, to solve such questions, let's consider a register to register timing path. So I am going to draw the register to register timing path circuit diagram. Let's assume this is our flip flop 1, this is our flip flop 2 or this is our launch flop and this is our capture flop. This is the data pin of the launch flop and here there might be some combinational delay and it is the data pin of the second flip flop and then we have a clock signal which will be going to both the launch flip flop and the capture flip flop. So friends, if you have not gone through the setup and whole timing equation derivation chapter, which I have already covered in our one of the previous chapter, please go through that. Uh, I will provide the link in the description section of this video. And I will be using the result of that chapter where we derived the setup and whole timing equation to solve this problem. So the whole timing equation of a register to register timing path is nothing but the T hold time of the capture flip flop should be less than T clock to Q delay of launch flip flop plus T combinational delay. So friend this is the hold timing equation and it needs to be satisfied in order to meet the hold timing check. So if this equation is not getting satisfied by the uh, timing parameters T hold, T clock to Q delay and T combinational delay, then there is a hold violations and in that particular case, how we can fix this violation by making use of these three timing parameters. So now let's go through the options one by one and let's see which is the correct option. So the first option is speeding up the clock. So if we have the clock period, let's assume that T is the clock period. Speeding up the clock means decreasing the time period. And friends, if you see, there is no clock period term in the whole timing equation. We do not have the clock period anywhere means with the whole timing equations or in other words, we can say that the whole, whole timing chart check do, does not depend on the clock period of the design. So the first option is basically doesn't help. So the second option is speeding up data. So, so, so friends, let's to have the whole time violation. Basically, our T hold, if our T hold becomes more than T clock to Q plus T combinational delay, that means there is a hold violation. And friends, if we speed up the data, that means if we decrease the data delay. So, if we decrease this data delay, that means we are going into more hold violation direction. Because if there is a hold violation, that means this data delay is already less than our T hold. And if we decrease it further, that means we are going into negative direction more. That means speeding up the data does not solve our hold violation problem. Now, option B is also incorrect. Now, let's see option C. Option C is increasing the data delay. So suppose if there is a hold violation, that means our this data delay, data delay is here nothing but T clock to Q plus T combinational delay is less than our T hold, that is the hold time violation condition. And in this case, if we increase the data delay, if we increase this T clock to Q plus T combinational delay, that means there is a chance that this term can become more than T hold. So if we decrease this delay such that this term is basically equal or more than t hold time t hold time of the capture flip flop then we can fix the hold violation so increasing the data delay is basically a correct option we can have our data delay increase to in order to avoid the hold violation now let's see friend the third third is nothing but reducing clock skew or uncertainty so let's assume that we have clock is so we have some buffers here which will introduce the clock skew so if there is a clock skew introduced then what will be our new timing equation whole timing equation our new whole timing equation will become t hold time plus let's assume the delay is t skew 
plus p is q should be less than p clock to q delay plus t combination delay so with the so with the clock is q introduced this is our new whole timing equations and what option d is saying reduce the clock is q so if there is a hold violation that means our this term is already more than this this term is already more than clock to q delay plus t combinational delay and if we reduce the clock is q if we reduce the clock is q that means we are basically reducing this term and if we reduce this term then this term might become less than t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay so this can also help us to in, to to fix the hold violation correct so reducing clock is q or, or uncertainty can also fix the hold violation so friends option c and d are the correct options so hope this question is clear to you it is very important from inter perspective if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section also if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified as soon as i upload the next video thank you very much